Hello, my name is Monica Ibarra Robbins and I am with a company called Eating Disorder Voice. And I'm here to introduce to you a piece of emotion art. Um, you'll watch me do just uh, artwork that I'm feeling this today that I need to do. And for me, art is something I need to do. It surges inside of me. My emotions surge in my way to uh, explore those. My way to express my emotions is through art. So, um, come join me. I am going to look at this. Uh, this is a 20 by 24 art uh, pad. And today I am going to be using uh, vine charcoal, which is very easy to use, very user friendly. Um, soft pastels the chalk and then also pastel color sticks and these are so easy to blend is why I use these so often and um, you can erase, you can smudge, you can blend and so I use that. So today I'm using this image, I chose this from a calendar and the dolphin to me is expresses intuition and expresses uh, free spirit, it expresses uh, just delight and joy for life today. And so today I really want to encompass that in, and have that come across on my image on my paper. So I'm picked this, um, this dolphin out and so I'm going to look at her. I call her her. She's a female energy for me. And so I pretty much just Sketch out her top of her side, her, her fin, and she's coming down into the ocean. Her nose. Once again, no perfection. If you want, you can just kind of gently erase that too. More than anything, I try to get the feeling of what's happening. And right now, it's trying to grab her energy. So that's kind of what I see right now. Always erase, like, just a little bit too much. So I just erase. And this vine charcoal is so forgiving that you, you know, you can't go wrong with this. You mostly want to get her energy because she's so powerful. And then the horizon line. You can make the dolphin as big or as little as you want. This just gives you a guideline of what to do with it. But this just gives you some kind of feel for it. So there she is. And then the, the fun part is the color. And that is my ultimate favorite part of doing that. And I usually hold the charcoal kind of like that very gently so it's not so constricted. So you get a feel of the freedom of the line like that so it's smooth and flowing and that gives you more of kind of energy circulating there. I don't know. <laughs> a little bit of a difficulty here but I'm not going to be worried about it. I kind of get just the silhouette of her and so I'm going to go ahead and do the ocean. Dark blues and color is really important here. This is what emotion art is all about. Is what kind of energy are you feeling when you put color down? And for me, 
I am feeling like the depths of the ocean, the dark. But yet then the sunlight brings in the color, light color blue. So and most often you think of the ocean, it gets darker as you go down. So I'm going to put darker over here. And the, the top of the ocean is lighter. So that's just something to remember. So there's that. And then I usually... The sky to me, see, is blue here, but you can pick whatever color you, you're feeling. Once again, it's all about the color. So I'm going to go ahead and go with yellow because I'm feeling really good energy from the sky, from the celestial, and all of that. And then I'm going to outline her blue. some of that. Then I need her to be another color and I'm going to go with green because she's fresh. She's, she's willing to adventure in the light. And she's got some green going on. I'm not sure why but I'm feeling the color green. Just gently outlining her so I get a feel of the dolphin. So she's kind of more highlighted that way. And then I smudge all the colors, give some shadows. And you can use your finger, or you can use a paper towel. You can use a piece of paper, whatever you want, to smudge the colors. And so I'm going to bring in some oranges for the light also. Really feeling the energy up on top. Very, very vibrant up on top. And then she still needs some extra something, something. I'm not sure what, but... right there so I just went over some chalk and kind of got that out of the way so the chalk is really really easy to work with kind of like crayons but a whole lot easier and it's all about blending and feeling the colors like the ocean feel and, then I, and sometimes you may want to, as I have blue hands, you may want to wipe your hands before you do the lighter colors because probably end up getting blue in there, which would be okay. Actually, let's go ahead and try this because the sky has blue in it. So I'm just going to go ahead and add some blue. So there is the dolphin, and she's very simple, but she, I get the energy across that she is the one that, the intuition, the one that goes in and out of the ocean. So 
Thank you for watching and I look forward to uh, showing you some more art and come visit at www.eatingdisordervoice.com is my website if you'd like to see more art. So thank you very much.